Well, it's very exciting that we have the IST that can attract people of the caliber of our lecturers to come and talk here. And we felt in particular that we wanted to make this opportunity open to the entire intellectual community here in Toulouse, including members of the general public. Um, it's easy for people to think that you know the IST does all of these really exciting things, but they're somehow rather uh, for uh, the invited few. Uh, this is not for the invited few. This is really for everybody who cares about the big questions about our society. Uh, Rob is talking about really one of the very big questions that occupies anthropologists and thinkers more generally, which is how does our culture interact with what kind of people we are physically? How do our brains uh, and their physical shape get uh, formed in turn by the ideas that we inherit from our parents and from the culture around us? And he has some fascinating and, and uh, very original ideas about what made human beings special and the way in which we share the ideas of uh, those around us and, and those who have come before us. Now, Origins was also a great way to think about the remaining two lectures because Tim Clutton Brock, who has worked uh, on how various animal species organize their social lives, is ideally placed to help us think about what made our social life special. How are we shaped in the way we live together and act together by the fact that we are group living mammals and more specifically group living primates? And it's fascinating talking to Tim and hearing him, him uh, lecture to see how that inheritance that goes back many millions of years still uh, shapes the way in which we think and act today. Now, uh, Walter Scheidel, who's talking in um, December, has also some fascinating ideas about the way in which we're shaped not by the influence of natural selection on our bodies but by the physical environment in which we live and he's done really fascinating work on how the empires of the ancient world were shaped by the geography in which they developed and you know looking around us at the landscape and seeing how you know the hills and the rivers and the fields uh, uh, exist and have existed for, for centuries and, and for millennia, it's easy to think that somehow or other we have been able to adapt ourselves perfectly around them. But no, they shape the way in which we think and act even today. What we expect is going to be stimulation, fun and food for thought. And the speakers aren't of a format. They're three very different uh, individuals, three very different characters, and they'll address that in their own way. So there's going to be some unexpectedness in this. In general, what I'd like to hope is that this is part of a dialogue in which the researchers who have uh, very important specialist skills can talk uh, and take part in a conversation that we all share, uh, all of us, not just researchers, researchers, people, people who work in all sorts of areas, um, who are interested in questions about who we are as human beings and how we live in society.